Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good afternoon ladies and gentlemen today i would like to share with you a video uh, regarding how you can create a google form and after that you put your google form inside your moodle activities so that your google form will be in a strict format this is very useful for those who are trying to make a quiz uh, question and eh, that are already being embedded inside your moodle so to do that the first thing you have to go to your google drive okay first go to your google drive here okay after you open your google drive you may want to create a folder or a specific um, folder so that you don't mix it up with the another part of your content inside your google drive okay in this uh, example I'm going to insert it inside this uh, program uh, folder I'm just going to uh, write here as uh, a underscore example form okay uh, this form actually is not a form I'm going to create a quiz okay so go to new more and Google form so this is a quiz I'm going to create at least five question regarding a uh, biostatistics so this one is a uh, quiz for biostatistics okay it is just an example to give you an idea how you can create this thing inside the uh, Moodle and also to create it in a secure manner so for, uh, perhaps the first thing I need to ask is the student names okay uh, because this is a, a very simple one okay and then i can start with the quiz so the first one is um, what is the mct for data normally normally distributed distributed okay so i know already the answer but uh, to just test the student understanding i'm going to insert uh, some question over here and uh, some answer so this one is mean mode and also median this one i'm going to put it as st okay so the next question will be uh, if your data is not normal what is the best mct to present your data okay right so we continue if you have an uh, a non normally distri distributed uh, tabulation what is the best uh, dispersion uh, should you use okay so this one i'm going to put iqr okay and then uh, percentile okay Alright, so the next one will be what is the uh, benefit, uh, sorry, what is the function of MCT, okay, so uh, to represent the holistic data, holistic uh, non numerical data okay to represent the holistic numerical data okay so the last one to uh, simulate the tabulation of overall ordinal data to understand the tabulation of a non uh, nominal scale data okay so i got uh, question number one question number two question number three question number four and last but not least is question number five uh, choose the appropriate uh, dispersion for normally distributed distributed data okay so what is that we are going to explore it after this so the first one is standard deviation the second one will be uh, iqr and then the next one will be um, percentile 
And then the last one will be perhaps you want to min minimum. Okay, minimum. Okay, so finish. So after you finish create something like this, what you need to do is you just go to this uh, setting over here. And then there will pop up a window over here. And then you can just uh, indicate here as collect email, respond receipt. Um, always so that the student also have their their courtesy to to gain their access based on what they answer and then limit to one respond and then respondent can edit after submission no need and then we can just proceed to the quiz step make this a quiz release grade immediately after each submission yes miss question no need correct answer no need point values of course then we can put save over here and then the google drive are going to address a certain thing so name here is good email address here is good so we need to specify the answer uh, okay so you have to choose what is the mct for data normally distributed this one is main okay so we have to click here the answer will be main so we put here as one mark done Okay, proceed with the second one. If your data is not normal, what is the best MCT? The answer will be median. Okay, so this is the answer. We give also one mark. Okay, so the next one. If your data have a non-normally distributed tabulation, what is the best dispersion? So non-normal will be IQR, interquartile range. Okay, one mark also. Alright, what is the function of MCT? MCT is actually to represent the whole signature of numerical data. This one also, one marks also done. And last but not least, choose the appropriate dispersion for normally distributed data will be standard deviation. Okay, click standard deviation here and then put marks. Okay, this is the example of MCQ, multiple choice question. You can alter a little bit after uh, you need it or if you want. Okay, just uh, have a look into, alright, so I'm going to uh, go to the presentation over here, shuffle question order, uh, show progress bar, and then we, we say something as a feedback to our students. Thanks for your cooperation. Please uh, study more. Okay, right, then what will happen, uh, this questionnaire or this uh, quizzes is already um, ready to be used for you uh, and then to be shared to your student. Usually we are going to click this preview button and then we are going to share this uh, link to your student, right? But today I'm, I'm going to do it in a different way where I'm going to create a responses. Okay, you go to the responses over here and then click this one, select respond destination and then you just hit the create button. After you hit the create button, a green color responses file will be created for you here and then um, you have to select this one into the um, tools okay so the reason why uh, sorry not tools form okay the form here and then you can choose for embed form in a web page so that we can lock this uh, assessment inside our web page so that the student do not have ability to share their link Okay, because uh, traditionally we can share the link, right? Alright, so now we do not need to share the link, but we embed that one inside our model. Okay, so to do that, you just go to your learn.myenvironmentalhealth.com. I'm going to insert something into my dummy uh, teacher account. Okay, my dummy teacher account is very useful for me to do some sort of manipulation here. Okay, turn editing on. And then perhaps I'm going to insert one section. This is the example of, um, we call it as uh, Google Drive Quiz. Okay. So just put here, add an activity. Okay. What you need to choose, actually, you have to choose the page. Okay. So that it's become perfect for you. So you can just write here, quiz MCT. And then under the page content over here, you have this button. Click this button. And then you can request for this code, okay, line of the HTML coding. And then paste those uh, file or those uh, um, those link that you just copy from the Google Sheet inside here. Okay, I made a repetition. 
you open this green one so the green is being generated from your previous uh, quiz for biostatistics and then go to your add-on uh, sorry form and then go to the embedded uh, form in the web page copy that one and then embed accordingly so you can make it um, you can adjust it accordingly but uh, for this uh, exercise i'm just going to do it robust so after you put a uh, save as so it's become like this okay it's 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 lockable so the student cannot um, cannot share it cannot manipulate it in any way um, they can just uh, go inside it and then uh, log in into it and answer accordingly okay i'm just going to share with you the idea if i'm going to uh, become a student this is the example of student account i'm going to go into my um, content so i'm a student okay i cannot make some manipulation so just go to quiz mct and then it is open and available for me to be answered okay let's say i'm answering it now i'm going to use my um just just put some name over here and then uh, okay just uh, i'm just going to do it robust okay but it's correct or not that is does not matter because i just want to understand Alright, so after that, the students can view the score. Okay, so we can see that one of the point is correct and then uh, another point is not correct. So actually, you cannot uh, see the responses here. They can just see the responses uh, inside their personal email. Okay, if the students go into their personal email, for example. Okay, uh, but usually not all the students know already how to update the link. Uh, just like what I did just now. So the students can go to their personal Gmail account, for example, uh, to understand what is their score. Okay, so thanks for filling out. So this is the score that already being uh, given for the students. Okay, so the student can open and view the score straight away, which is one over five. Okay, all right. So this is the one of the simpler example how we want to lock your quizzes inside the Moodle so that you can also counting the time taken for the student to answer this question. Uh, the quiz is started based on the specific time. So if they miss, then uh, they will not get the score. So that is the idea, guys, how to make a quiz and then how to embed that quiz inside your Moodle so that it's become an interactive Moodle platform for your student. With that, hopefully you can enjoy this video and try to do it by your own. See you next time. Assalamualaikum. And a very good afternoon. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye. Assalamualaikum.